Taunsay! Taunsay, people. My name is Sin K. You can call me Sin for short. And welcome to Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves. All we did last episode is we saved uh, Jing, the Panda King's daughter. We crashed the wedding. We stopped it, you know, prevented that from that happening, you know, because he's a really bad guy from General Zhao. I can't, I believe his name's General Zhao, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, we did that, and now we are here trying to recruit someone else in the pirate place. I can't remember the name of it. Memory is terrible. It's been a few days since I last played. Anyways, without further ado, we're just gonna jump right back into it. Uh, I guess we go out a sly, yeah. Bloodbath Bay, the Caribbean. She has retired and is living here in town. I'll mark his place with a waypoint. Oh shit. Whoa. My voice may sound a little different, but that's because I have a stuffy nose and I did blow it before. So, uh, yeah. I haven't been feeling, you know, that well lately, as I said before. It's been a few days since I last played. So bear with me as I try get my bearings again, as I've, uh, taken a break from mostly playing. All right. Oh, what's going on? What's happening? Oh, shit. Never mind. All right, I'm finally up here after falling. God damn it. There he is. Black Spot Pete. I didn't think pirates could get that old. Thought scurvy would get him or something. Don't lower your guard for an instant. All pirates are killers. Plain as that. And they don't trust outsiders at all. How's your pirate accent? Arr, I forgot me number two pencil for the Scantron test. Joke all you want, <laughs> but that guy won't help oh, us out until you've earned his trust. What? Go talk to Black Spot. Black Spot you Pete, right? Hi, Black Spot. Hi, buddy. Black Spot Pete, I've come to talk of treasure, a subject I hear you're familiar with. Treasure! I. But I won't chatter with the likes of you, so blessed a subject. Get out of me sight, landlubber! All my years, I only spoke of the gold and kindness with me partner. Can't tank on a stem. Maybe we can work out a bargain. Shut your mouth, whole lover, and cork it with me cutlass. Hard on my tonsils, I assure you. Salt of the earth, that black spot, Pete. It's clear to get anywhere with the old coot. We'll need to fool him into thinking that you're cantankerous, Tim. What happened to Tim anyway? His lieutenants mutinied on the old guy and divided the plunder, including his captain's outfit. This is the only real pirate town left. They must be around here somewhere. You're right. That's Stone Jake. Toughest guy you'll ever meet. He took the eye patch. Hmm. Tough enough to take an anchor dropped on his head? Good plan. That'll do the job, matey. Stone Jake has a thing about monkeys. If you whack the palm trees, he's sure to come running. Perfect for luring him under the anchor. Monkeys. Under the anchor. What anchor? Oh. What? Be that monkeys? What? I'll find you. Try me, dogs. Three devils. Come on. Where are you? Oh, shit. Filthy banana eaters. What? Tricky yes. Monkeys. What? You got the eye patch. What? Okay. <laughs> I've already got a bead on the second lieutenant. He's in motion near the overturned boat. That was weird. Did he see me fall through the goddamn water? <laughs> I gotta go to the boat over here. All right. Up here? Oh, down there. There's the second lieutenant. You need to steal his peg leg. Peg leg? Seriously? Isn't that kind of... harsh? You'll need it for the costume. It's very unique. Look, what you need to worry about is getting past his bodyguards. I'll have to pick them off one by one. Shouldn't be a problem. 
Really? Oh, they're moving. Okay, I was gonna be like, they're not moving. You serious, bro? Poor guy. That wasn't who I was aiming for. I was aiming for that guard right there. Okay, sneak up behind him and pickpocket the screws from his peg leg. I got it. Excellent work. You've just got one lieutenant left. That wasn't so bad. I'm afraid word's gotten out that someone is taking down lieutenants, and he's hiding out up in a crow's nest. You have money? Sorry, I know you're broke and all, but... I'm more, even more broke, you know what I mean? Over there? Oh my lord. Alright, now to make it somehow, some way. I gotta parkour my way up there! Um... Look at those guys just lay anywhere. Uh, up there. Bro. Shouldn't be so bad. Alright. They're everywhere. The dogs are closing in. Stay awake. Keep your wits about your net. Stay sharp. Yeah. Huh. Sharp as an axe. Sharp as a pin. Sharp. Ah! Oh, I know it. Tis true. An Asian of Thames come for revenge. No Chase way. Chase him down. He's got Tim's hat. I'm chasing him. And I'm freaking losing. He isn't that crazy. He's like Carmelita and them. Oh, never mind. Never mind. He's pretty crazy. Take that, scallywag. What? You jerk. Avast! I'm almost there. Oh you no. Don't take me. I'll get you, don't worry, I'll freaking get you. I don't, honestly don't know how that boat got me in the beginning. No. Where did he go? Oh, I lost him. Shit. Well, we're just going to skip ahead, you know. All right, this time. Aha, I got you now. Ah, shit. What's your Skylark and you young pups? <laughs> Are you kidding me, dude? We're like halfway across the map. Avast there. You've got me with me back to the sea. Finally. <laughs> I yield. I just wanted your hat. Me hat? That's what this be about. Take the moldy cut of cloth and away with you. He's he understood the assignment. You've got the full cantankerous Tim disguise. Head on back to Black Spot Pete and pretend to be his old partner. And remember your pirate accent this time. My pirate accent. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, this is gonna be terrible. All right. What? Cantankerous steam! You're back, you two faced scallywag! Aye, matey. And not to be rude, but <laughs> let's talk of treasure. Oh my god. Arr. How about a round of vinegar talk first, you baboon-faced toilet? 
I've read about this, Sly. It's customary for pirates to engage in insult competitions. Just make sure you never repeat anything that's already been said. You take the first broadside, shipmate. You're a brainless duck build slobber. That be true enough, but you're a mumbling, seaweed slurping piece of filth. Oh my god. You are a stupid, seaweed slurping sack of maggots. Tis already been said, no pirate worth his salt would reuse an insult. What? It's a crime before nature. What? Alright, I'll try this again. You take the first broadside, shipmate. You're a pin-headed, cross-eyed whale fart. <laughs> but methinks you're a blathering, grog-abusing bag of vomit. Uh, anchorhead. You're a blathering, cross-eyed anchorhead. Tis already been said. What? No pirate worth his salt would reuse an insult. It's a crime before nature. He said something already? Oh my god. You take the first broadside, shipmate. Sheep brain, toothless, waste of skin. You're a oh sheep god. brain, toothless, waste of skin. Ha! You swear like a child. You're a marooned, twisted cabin boy. Cow pie. Oh yeah, you're a pig-breathed, yellow-bellied cow pie. That be true enough, but you're a parrot-loving, knuckle-dragging bag of vomit. Donkey-eared, us-faced, piece of filth whale fart, right? Did I say whale fart? Oh really? You're a donkey-eared, pus-faced whale fart. Ha ha ha! But methinks you're a cricket sized, barnacle backed piece of filth. St idiotic. Clam tongue. Swabber. You're a idiotic, clam tongued swabber. Ha! You swear like a child. You're a stupid. Seaweed slurping sack of maggots. Mm, brainless. Frog abusing. Oh no, I've used all these already. Did I say anchorhead? I know I said swabber. Come up with some new phraseology or you'll taste me cutlass. What? Oh my god. This time you take the first broadside shipmate. Pig breath yellow bellied swapper. You're a pig breath yellow bellied swapper. That be true enough, but you're a cricket sized toothless cabin boy. Uh sheep brained duck build sack of maggots. You are a Sheep brained, duck build, sack of maggots. Ha ha ha! But methinks you're a parrot loving, cross eyed bag of vomit. Uh, idiotic, bus based cow pie. Oh, really? You're a idiotic, pus based cow pie. Ha! You swear like a child. You're a blathering, scurvy-ridden piece of filth. 
bleeding barnacle back waste of skin oh yeah you're a bleeding barnacle bat waste of skin <laughs> but me thinks you're a pinheaded twisted anchor head I say donk ear knuckle dragging whale fart you're a donkey and knuckle dragon well fight. Ha ha! Cadankerous Tim, it must be you! Finally! This old sea dog and his sunburnt eyes for not recognizing you straight away. I've never met a man on land or sea that could curse half as well. Tell me, shipmate, why after so long away do you drop anchor now? I've come for me share of the treasure we stole years back from that Rame Lousteau fella. Twas a good haul. Oh, speak of it while drunk off. <laughs> you and I burying the loot in the belly of Dagger Isle. Oh, and many a year I kept the map to the treasure hidden, safe as a swaddling babe. Arr, then let's have it. High time we dug up our retirement and lived as lords. It shames me fierce to tell you, shipmate, but I lost my galleon in a game of cards. And worse yet, the map was stolen by that terror, Captain Lefui. What? <clears throat> what? I'd have run him through with my cutlass before giving up so treasured a parchment. This Lefui's no ordinary buccaneer, no. He's earned the reputation as the smartest man on the seven seas. The devil lives in yonder keep. Tis there you'll find the map, and your death as well. If you go for the treasure ship, mate, you go alone. Me seafaring days are long behind me. Thank you, Pete. You've been a good friend. Aye, and you're still a skinny, malodorous, hairy palmed bottom feeder. Hey, job complete. That took a while. Thanks to Black Spot <laughs> Pete, we've got a lead on Ruddy Lou Stowe's treasure. It's buried somewhere on Dagger Island, a landmass many leagues from our current position. To make the voyage, we'll need to steal a pirate ship from the harbor. No easy feat given the cutthroat nature of these cutthroats. First, Murray and Sly will steal a jolly boat and blast the rudders off any ships that could chase us out into the open ocean. The action is sure to provoke the harbor patrol, so be prepared for a sea battle. With them out of the way, no one could stop us from leaving harbor. Meanwhile, Penelope and I will work together to break into Lafui's keep and steal the map to the buried treasure. Once both objectives are reached, we'll steal a ship and set sail for Dagger Island. Then it'll be a simple matter of following the map and digging up the loot. Okay. We gotta go with Bentley now, right? Yeah, it looks like it. All right, let's begin. I need to go over there. Dynamic duo is what it's called. Okay. Okay, Penelope, I'm in position with your hover spectrometer. I'll launch the device and you scan for metal structures that resemble a safe or chest. Anything the treasure map might be stored in. Roger, Bentley. Let's light this candle. Be still, my heart. She made an obscure NASA reference. Why do the girls always have to go for Sly? It's just not fair. <laughs> what was that? I didn't reach ya. Oh, nothing. I was just saying that we've got fair winds for liftoff. Let's do it. Oh my god. Smooth, Bentley. Smooth. The data's coming in. It's caching in the spectrometer's matrix. What matter of witchcraft is that? Ah, well, best to shoot first and uh, ponder later. No, what? Downloaded yet. Ah, the pieces are still intact. The disc is shattered, but we can still retrieve the data. But it's broken, and I rig all my gear to self-destruct if anyone tries to take it after a malfunction. Hmm. 
the disc will destroy itself if someone tries to pick it up. Aha! What if we could read the disc's contents before touching it? Right! I could use my RC card, go out and collect the data. It's got the same code base as a disc and should be able to download its contents. That's it! Use the car to recover all of the data and then we'll know where to strike inside the skull keep. Okay. So I just gotta use the car. Oh, so that's why there's ramps everywhere. Nice driving, Penelope. I'm registering a partial download from that portion of the disc. There's no jumping button, is there? Uh-oh. This goddamn fucking thing's in the way. This pot. Oh no. Alright, that's two. Three. Oh, this Pirates is bad. Are pretty keyed up after seeing the hover disc. They seem awfully scared of technology. Your RC car is sure to cool. attract attention. Thank God. Oh no, 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 no. I gotta get back up there. There's a piece up there. So four. Oh shit. No. This is harder than it looks. Alright, there we go. There we go. We got this. We got this. We got this. Let's just back the fuck up. No. No, 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 no. I need to get up here. There we go. And then we do a little turning. And then we just go. We book it. Yes. Five. No, I backed up too far. Oh, shit. We'll go up this way. Oh, oh, we did it. We'll take this ramp and get the last one. Woohoo! Stop. Oh, my God. All right. It's right there. It's right there. Yeah. Oh, my God. That does it. We should have all of the spectrometer data. Hold on. Hold on. I got it. There's a massive chest near the top east facing windows. Let's go. All right. Oh, she's following me. Nice. We're just gonna go and run there. Follow me, Penelope. Over there? Okay, cool. I thought I would be on this ship, but, you know, what do I know? This Lafui guy is really on it. He must have seen the disc and raised all the bridges to the fort. There's no way in. I've dealt with guys like this before. They can't really trust their own men, so they always keep an escape route handy. You just have to look around a little. Wow, Sly's really taught you a lot. Sly? We're a team. In case you haven't noticed, I'm the brains of the operation. He's just a field man. Just the field man? Sounds like you're jealous. Well... Yeah, I, I wish I wasn't in this chair. I wish I could run on tight ropes and jump on flagpoles and all that stuff. But I can't. You can do other stuff. Sly can't rewire a satellite or write ASCII code. Sly can't even spell ASCII. Yeah, he's not the most technical guy. Hey, let's get moving. We won't find the back entrance just standing around. Oh, oh sorry about that standing comment. Give me a break, Penelope. It's just an expression. <laughs> Poor Bentley. Oh, no. Come on. Parkour! Parkour! Stay asleep, bitch. Stay sleeping. I don't trust him. I really don't trust him. Uh -huh. Oh. God dang it. Why do they always gotta make this difficult? 
Ah! All right, we're good. We're good. We're golden. Golden rule of uh, life is uh, not uh, looking down. Oh God! We've the done door it. here is locked, but you should be able to bomb the support to that upper walkway. Bomb the support? You mean like just blow it up like that? Oh. What do you know? Oh, another bomb? Oh, all right. Hey. Shh. That must be Lafui. Let's get up to where no one will spot us. Agreed. I'll tell you something by thunder. That disc in the sky was just the beginning. But, sir, tis gone. Them bridges is up and all's as clear as morning. Sure, sure, every man's entitled to their opinion. <laughs> but I don't want to hear no more of them. Second mate Jones. Yes, sir. You're now promoted to captain of the guard. Th thank you, sir. Double the patrols and keep an eye out. There's the storm blowing in. I'll be just inside torturing the prisoners. Call out if you need help. No, sir. I mean, I, I, sir. We can't get inside with these pirates guarding the door. Time for a little swashbuckling. A little bit of swashbuckling. What do I do? Just... You guys are so funny. Oh no, the button thing. Hmm, looks like a standard double button latch system. On three, in pirate. One, two, three. Yay, first try. This must be it. I've never seen a security chest so thick with traps. I don't know. Looks pretty straightforward. If I had my spanner set, this would be a cinch. Really? Let's head back to the safe house and get your tools. I'd like to stay here if you don't mind and study it some more. Sure, I'll be back in a flash. Why do I have a bad feeling she's gonna get captured? I've got your spanners and I'm on my way back. Great! But I think I've already got it. This is it! The Dagger Island treasure map. I can't see some kind of blinding dust. Oh no. She's Belma now. <laughs> oh, no. oh no. Please don't fall out the window. Whoa. Oh no. I'm oh, she's okay. okay. But I think I fell down near the front door. I can't get back to the safe house with the bridges still raised. I'll save you. I'll, I'll think of something perfect. I'm sure she won't mind if I take the turret off her car. Hurry, Bentley. I'm getting kind of scared here. Hang tight. I've got a new and improved grapple cam on the way. This dust is really nasty. I can't see a thing. Oh my god. We're coming, Penelope. I just... Oh, you can get... You can get freaking 
money with that? That's cool. Don't worry, Penelope. The pulleys holding up the bridges were too tough to take out with my sleep darts. So I upgraded my grapple cam with one of your RC turrets. I should be able to blast them to pieces. I heard the bridge is full, but I'm not sure I can make it back to the safe house blinded like this. Okay, just don't get too far away or I won't hear them. I have to guide her back like this. It okay. just gets worse. Going to your position. I'm in motion. Too far away. On my way. Now how is she gonna get up there? I'm coming. I gotcha. Isn't there a way somewhere for me to get up here? Hold on. There is a back way, right? Alright. Okay. I'm figuring out as we go along. I'm coming. No, uh... Oh, there is a way here. Here I come. I'm in motion. Where is she? Oh. Okay. I hear ya. Well, get the hell up here. Yep. On my way. You're so dumb. Get over here. Come over, Penelope. Oh, I guess I gotta be on the floor. All right. Moving to your position. Okay. I gotcha. Sure. Aha, she made it. Penelope! Bentley? Thank you. I was really scared there for a bit. You saved my life. There now. Let's get you inside and make sure that dust has no permanent effects. Yay! That one wasn't so bad.